Hey everybody, it's Will from Media Proof Cooking, and today we're making smash burgers. But not just any smash burgers, we're making jalapeno and salsa verde smash burgers because I was feeling like something spicy today. Anyways, let's get into it. The first thing to talk about when making smash burgers is the meat. Now you can go to your grocery store and just buy ground beef if you want, and that'll work, but it won't taste nearly as good if you grind your own meat. To the left we have a beef brisket, I used about a pound of it, and that'll give you the nice beefy taste. And to the right is beef short rib, which will add fat to the burger and really bring out the flavor. So the first thing you'll want to do is remove the silver skin from the brisket. It's tough and it won't cook properly. Now you really need to have a sharp knife to do this. As you can see here, I'm really struggling to take it off. So grab yourself a nice knife sharpener, make sure that knife is nice and sharp, and try removing the silver skin once again. Oh, look at that, it cuts through way easier this time. So carefully remove it. You don't want to lose too much of the brisket in the process of doing so. There it is, and just remove a little bit from the other side as well. And then remove the bone from the short rib, as well as the little bit of silver skin that is on that as well. There we go, good to go. Once you've removed the silver skin and bone, you'll want to cut up the brisket and short rib into about one inch chunks so that they fit into your meat grinder. I didn't end up using the entire one pound of brisket. I felt like about three quarters of it was sufficient. Now as you can see with the short rib, it's just marbled with fat and that's really gonna bring out the flavor of the burger. So I'm placing both on a plate and I'll freeze it for about 15 minutes to harden it up. It'll make it way easier to grind. Not only should you throw your meat in the freezer for about 15 minutes, also throw the grinder blade in the freezer. Get it nice and cold. Again, it'll just make it way easier to grind the meat. Firmly attach the blade and start putting in the meat to grind it up. Now I'm using a coarse grind to grind this meat. What a lot of people will do is do once through on a coarse grind, freeze it for about another 15 minutes, and put it through on a fine grind. However, I'm just doing once through the coarse grinder and I'm going to hand mix it afterwards so that you get a nice even spacing between the fatty beef short rib and the brisket. Like I said, you can do it a double grind and you'll get a nice mixture that way too, but I felt like just hand mixing it afterwards. Time to start making patties. Get your food scale out, and with the ground beef, use your hands to form small balls of the ground beef weighing from anywhere from two to four ounces. Now, you won't want to pack it too tightly as you are gonna smash it down onto your griddle afterwards, so they typically are, should be loosely packed. What I'm doing here is I'm weighing them out anywhere from two and a half to three ounces. Most of them are coming in at 2.7, 2.8 ounces, which for my burgers is what I'm really looking for. All right, like I was saying, I was craving something spicy, so I'm going to be sauteing two jalapenos in butter. Dice them up finely and saute them on a medium heat. Hey, look at that, a location change. My stupid hot plate kept popping the breaker, so I decided to cook them on my gas stove instead. This actually worked out for the better because now I can saute the jalapenos and cook the burgers at the same time. Melt the butter in the pan and then throw in the jalapenos to saute. Stir them every once in a while, but you don't have to keep too close of an eye on them. If you're cooking them on a medium heat, they're not going to burn for a while. So just like I said, stir them every once in a while and let them cook. After you've heated up your grill, throw some neutral oil down, like uh, avocado oil, and then place your little meatballs on top and smash them down. Now what I do is I add on some parchment paper so that the spatula doesn't stick to the burger. Then spice with a little kosher salt and a little pepper. Give the jalapenos another little stir. Now as you see here when I pull this one up, 
I accidentally broke it, but there is still some nice char on the burger. That's what you want to do, is you want to make sure that when you scrape it, you get the nice char off from the grill. The second one came out way better formed than the first one, but that's okay. All right, laying down some more oil and doing two more burgers as I am making two double patty burgers. Again, like I said, just throw down the parchment paper on top, then use your spatula to press down. And there you go. Again, kosher salt, a bit of pepper on both as well, and these are gonna taste great. Again, another little stir of the jalapenos. They're almost done. See, look at that. Those ones came out way better than the first ones. And look at the char on the burgers, too. Little mozzarella. As soon as you flip, you add your cheese onto the burger. Because the second side of the burger takes a lot less time to cook. And there we go. Alright, time to start garnishing up the burgers. As I was saying, I was feeling like something spicy, so I've got my sautéed jalapenos, some salsa verde. Now I am going to start with some Japanese mayo. As a side note, if you can buy yourself Japanese mayo, buy that over regular mayo. It is way, way better. So spread that on both buns, like so. Up next is the salsa verde. Now this stuff is nice and spicy. I just bought it from my local grocery store, but it is really, really good. No need to be sparing. Then add in the sautéed jalapenos. These smell fantastic. And then the final ingredient, some crispy onions. Now full credit goes to my wife here. She was the one who suggested we put these on top. And really it was a good suggestion. They added a great little crunch and flavor to the burger. Throw the buns on top and they're good to eat. Now these were just exactly what I was looking for. A good amount of spice and just the flavor of the burgers with that uh, brisket and short rib was just absolutely fantastic. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I highly suggest you grind your own, your own beef. It's the way to go. But anyways, these were fantastic. And if you like what you've seen, feel free to subscribe, leave a comment, like. Thanks for watching Idiot Proof Cooking.